Hey, so today is a very exciting today. We're at the B-17 Alliance Museum Restoration Hangar, and we have a very special guest here today, Hugo Garcia, who came from Texas. So we're going to talk about why he came from Texas to the B-17 Alliance Museum today. And tomorrow we're having a grand opening and a ribbon cutting for what he brought. What did you bring, Hugo? I brought a 132nd scale of uh, B-17, uh, Art Lacey's 1947 B-17G uh, gas station in a, in a diorama. Nice. And, and what did you do along the way? Well, we stopped at uh, different places. Uh, are mm -hmm. we talking about uh, coming? Yeah, on the way here to, from Texas. You, you didn't we, just come in one day. No, no, no. We've, uh, been, we've been on the road for nine days already. We've been uh -huh. uh, going to Durango. We, we stopped on a, uh, we went on a train ride for eight hours. Uh, recently, we just came from uh, hiking a, a waterfall that took us, uh, instead of one hour, we were there like for four hours. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, nice. it was fun. But which waterfall? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. I just follow the guy who's uh, <laughs> guiding us. So. Great. Well, this is tourism, right? Yeah. We are a destination point as well, and so we want to always help all the tourism industry. Um, so, Hugo, you created a three-dimensional gas station bomber. What inspired you to do that? Well, I'm a, I'm a World War II enthusiast. I, uh, my favorite aircraft of, of any war, basically World War II, it happens to be the B-17G, mm -hmm. the G version. Uh, so at one time I was looking at photographs, trying to, uh, the internet, looking for what can inspire me, uh, to, you know, what, what model, what, what can I build with a, with a B-17? And uh, I came up across uh, Art Lacey's uh, gas station. And uh, I, I, I had fell in love with it. I, uh, as soon as I saw it, I just loved it. I remember calling my wife, telling her, hey, look, I want you to see this photograph. And uh, then, I, then came the, the, the story, uh, you know, about Art Lacey, how he got into it. And wow, that just, you know, took me to another dimension where I just, I really wanted to build it now. Uh, but I just didn't want to build just uh, a model of it. I, I, I wanted to create uh, you know, almost to the, you know, I wanted as many facts that I could find uh, as detailed because uh, I want to recreate the whole thing. But I wanted the uh, 1947 version uh, nice. because the, you know, I think throughout the years in the 1950s, he, 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 he started do, uh, selling Texaco, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to stick to one era mm -hmm. and uh, the 1947 basically what I stuck to. Great. And you said you researched that era of gas station and entertainment while you were getting your gas. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, um, well, one time I, I called because I was researching and researching. I, I went ahead and, you know, I, I, I called, the, uh, I went to the internet and I checked under uh, Salem's uh, or Portland or Oregon authors or, you know, who can help me out? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I know I called someone, because I found a phone number, and uh, he told, I believe his name was Mark, but I don't quite remember. Anyway, he told me, you know what, I, when I told him, do you, do you know anything about Art Lacey's uh, farmer gas station? Uh -huh. He said, you know what, uh, it's well known here, but I tell you what, I'll give you a phone number of someone that can give you the best, you know, best information. And he told me that her name is Punky. Uh, at the moment, I, you know, it was funky, and he told me that's his, Art Lacey's daughter, and that got me a little bit like, wow, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I immediately called Funky, and uh, I spoke to her, and, uh, and me and her started chatting, and I told her that I wanted to create a, an accurate model diorama of, uh, of her father's uh, gas station. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she started giving me a lot of information, and, and also she, we started emailing for a while, uh, a oh. couple of months, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Wow. Because this this uh, project, to get all the information and talking to Punky, uh, it took me about a, a year year's work wow. of getting information. That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but it, it's, uh, it's, uh, when you're into it, it's a lot of fun. Good. It's, good. it's not like a, So oh it's my research. God. You're researching it. Yeah, it's just it, research, you know? research. I was pretty impressed by that because, you know, most people would just look at the picture and build it. But you researched the history so that um, we could, you know, really be right. It could be right. You said yeah. there's a cigarette machine. Well, oh, yeah, Pange had told me that uh, she recalled a 1940s uh, cigarette 
uh, uh, machine. So, and I would show her some uh, photographs uh, uh, from the internet uh, uh -huh. until she came out with something close to it, and she, you know, told me yeah, that's it. You know, we, we were going back and forth, uh -huh. uh, and then she told me that there was also a pinball machine. So I wouldn't pinball machine. So I went to 1940s pinball machines, and also Fender is it more more like like this and. And so we came out to, yes. I love it. And so yeah. tomorrow you'll get to meet Punky. Yeah, I can't wait. And um, when we do, we're going to do a little program in the hangar and talk about it and let everybody share what you shared and things like that. And then we're going to come in here and the mayor will help us unveil it. We've got to find something to cover it with and then we're going to unveil it. And then I will, you and Punky can uh, take turns reminiscing about it. Together. Oh, yes, it'll be great. And that'll be awesome. I'm looking forward for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. I think it'll be wonderful, and she'll have a lot of fun. See, I didn't know about the pinball. I thought you just kind of created that. No, no, she no. She actually no. remembers. She remembered that, and, and mm -hmm. she uh, she told me a little bit also about where the, uh, on the on the back of the building, uh, not on the back of the building, but inside the building at the very back, where they would hang the, the their coats and all that. So I needed all as much information as I could get. And she is was, that inside the model too? Yes, it's inside. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and then um, the funny thing is that. To find the emblems of the Art Lacy's uh, gas station, it's not Texaco, it's a bomber, the bomber, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I uh, you know, even in the photograph, you can't really tell how right. it really looks like. But I sent that off to a friend of mine in, uh, I believe in Connecticut, uh, that does some decals. And I asked him, hey, can you help me out? I'm looking for Art Lacy's uh, uh, bomber gas station. But mm -hmm. it seems that wherever I talk, everybody, no matter who I talk to, they seem to know about the bomber already. Uh, you know, so that helped me out even That's a great, great. deal. Yeah. yeah. So he said, you know what? Uh, I have some friends that are into gas stations, mm -hmm. and uh, so he sent that off to them. And somebody came out that yeah, I got a, I got a picture of the original. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So. Well, we had bomber oil. Yes. And I actually yeah. have uh, some of the bomber oil cans still. And so I think I'll, I'll probably bring one and bring it. They're worth about $500 a piece, so wow. we kind of hide them. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I also got that information mm -hmm. also. Yeah? Um, the, uh, I also put gas, I mean, oil cans with the, the original. With the bomber oil on yeah. it. Great, mm -hmm. great, very cool. Well, we're yeah. really excited to share it with the public. Oh, yes. And we are so thankful that you brought it to us. Oh, yes, I, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, how can I tell you? It's, it's, uh, it belongs here, let me put it that way. That's wonderful. <laughs> I know there's going to be many, many people for years to come that will enjoy it. Oh, thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. You've been competing with this diorama, and how many competitions have you gone to? And about, I know you showed me a video, yeah. and I shared it on my our Facebook page. There were thousands and thousands of models at that show. Well, that was the, uh, that was the, the uh, uh, Nationals, uh, uh, 20, mm -hmm. 2023 Nationals, IPMS Nationals. Uh, there were actually 3,112 models wow. competing. Um, um, I got third place on, 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 in this division, which is great, I, I, you know. Uh, but um, I also got and I competed in other competitions all over uh, in Texas, um, Louisiana, and uh, 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 Oklahoma. And I did very, very good. I think I got three best of shows. Nice. And uh, I got also a, a two President's Awards. Uh, and I think I got three uh, People's Choice Awards. So those are top honors. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. People's Choice Award. That's pretty yes, good deal. Yes, I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like everybody knows about Art Lacey's gas station uh, everywhere. It's, it's one of the best topics. Uh, I mean, I would put the model there. I had people there ask, or remembering, or they would talk about, like, uh, oh, I remember when I was there. Uh, you know, so it was very exciting for me to yeah. even hear them say that. Uh, uh, at the time, I thought that you know only Oregon people would know, right? but no, no, it's all over. Everybody knows about our days. So one time in the way before I joined the family, um, we have a letter in somewhere in our archives that came from Europe, and all it said was the bomber, Oregon, <laughs> and it came to us. Wow. So it was amazing, wow. Wow. you know. It was very, it was an iconic treasure right. in the early days when it was established as a landmark. Right, or right. The era of when people made roadside attractions. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's a. I knew it was an iconic, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, like, uh, it, uh, it's a, it's a topic that many, many people. On um, this uh, kind of latest competition I went uh, two weeks ago, um, there were some some uh, models from Oregon. 
and uh, they asked, you know, for who was the modeler, and so they, you know, they found me, and uh, they were just talking about, you know, and it was a great topic to talk about. That's cool. That. And you made the front cover. Oh yes, I made a front cover in one uh -huh. of the, on one of the, uh, um, I think it's a, uh, what do you call, it? Uh, one of the persons that makes, uh, not makes models, but sells models. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I made it in that cover. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That was really cool. I loved it. How much time do you have invested in building this model? I well, let me put it this way. Um, it took uh, it took me three and a half months, and let me just explain to you a little bit about that. I'm retired, mm -hmm. so I I was putting anywhere from ten to fifteen hours a day, uh, wow. about uh, five you get days. Get obsessed, huh? Yes, and uh, <laughs> and my greatest support is my wife. My wife will support that. That's wonderful. Um, you know, but I I, I I did put a lot of hours, but it's it, it's like uh, when you have a child. And you go to the park mm -hmm. and you enjoy that. There's mm -hmm. no time, you know, you don't feel the time, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, you're a good yeah. father, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. So we'll have a great day planned tomorrow, and we're looking forward to that. And we're super excited to have you be part of it. Oh, thank you. So, I can't wait. Thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome.